What's up guys, TV Apps here. Today I'll be showing you how to set up Cloudflare for your website. Cloudflare is a CDN, which is a content delivery network, which allows you to secure your website while also making it faster. So to begin, we're going to go to cloudflare.com and sign up for an account. So you just need to enter in an email and password and you'll have an account. Now the next thing we're going to do is add a site. So it's going to ask us for our site name. For example, my one is dvapps.design. And then I'm just going to click on add site. So you would just enter your domain name over here. And I'm just going to choose the free plan because that's basically all you need unless there's some specific features that you need from the paid plans. And you can have a look at some of those plans by clicking on learn more about our plans. For now, I'm just going to click on free and click on confirm. Now it's just going to go through and look at my existing DNS records. So these are all the DNS records that are currently on my domain. And these are all the ones that are being brought over to Cloudflare. If you want, you can go ahead and delete some of these if you don't want them, or you can also add new ones. For now, I'm just going to keep it how it is and I'm going to click on continue. And now it's going to give you two name servers. So you have to go into your domain registrar. So this might be like Namecheap, Name.com, GoDaddy, those type of websites wherever you've registered your domain. So I've logged into my domain registrar and I'm just going to look for an option for DNS records or name servers. Every domain registrar would have it in a different place. If you're not able to find it, just Google search would be able to tell you where it is. So I found mine, they're just over here. I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to change both of these name servers to the ones that Cloudflare has given me. So I'm going to replace the first name server with this one and the second one with this one and then click on submit. Now that's done, we're going to go down and click on done and check for name servers. And then it's going to ask you for the SSL configuration for your website. I recommend with going with full, so I'll just leave it out full for now. And then you can also do always require HTTPS. I'll turn that on. So it redirects all HTTP, which is unsecured traffic to HTTPS, which is secured. You can also set up auto minify. So I'll do that. Just be careful that it does cause issues on some websites. And I'll also leave the broadly compression on, which again can cause some issues on websites. So if you do see anything different, you can come in here and turn these settings off. Once that's done, click on done. And now you just have to wait a few hours. It might even take up to a day for your name service to be updated. Once that does happen, Cloudflare will automatically send you an email to let you know that it's been updated. That's all for this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.